Which country is bigger? Alright, we've got Iraq and Venezuela. I should be good at this. I've looked at a lot of maps at this point. So, between Venezuela and Iraq, I think it's gotta be Venezuela. Let's take a look. Oh, nearly a million kilometers squared compared to 438,000 kilometers squared. That's a solid start. Let's keep going. Zimbabwe and Venezuela. Zimbabwe. Little kind of circular fella with a point. I think they're probably quite similar, but I'm gonna say Venezuela's got the edge. And, oh, actually, Zimbabwe quite a bit smaller. Oh, India and Zimbabwe, India definitely winning that one. Look at that, three million kilometers squared. Okay, we are doing well so far. Angola and India. Angola's large, but I reckon India is larger. Yes, 1.2 mil there for Angola. I'm curious, how long can we keep this going? That's another easy one. Ivory Coast is not particularly large. 300,000 kilometers squared. Okay, cool. Norway. Um, see, this is where it gets tricky. I know I've said I have looked at lots of maps, but maps lie because of the most common Mercado projection map like this one. The bits at the top and the bits at the bottom are drawn much larger than they actually are and the bits in the middle are drawn a bit smaller than they are in reality. Norway's quite large on a map but it's a little bit more shriveled in reality. I think I'm gonna still pick it though. Oh it just has the edge on Ivory Coast. Okay right Lebanon very small so we'll go with Norway. God I got scared there for a second but we are doing well we're gonna get to double figures. Guyana yeah go on. Guyana's not massive only 200,000 kilometers squared. Thailand's coming up next. Thailand's a funny shape. It's got like a, a bit here and then it goes down and then it's got like a bit more. Yeah, Thailand's got that beat. Look at that. We are doing well so far. I am excited. <laughs> Barbados. No chance. Not a chance, Barbados. Look at that. Less than a thousand kilometers squared. Oh, we're back to Burundi. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it was definitely like tens of thousands. Yeah, there we go. 27k. Okay, next is San Marino. That's an easy one. Burundi. San Marino, I believe. Smallest country that we've had so far. France. Is that even a question? I'm clicking it. Get out out of here, France. See you later. Oh, no, France is staying. Okay, Mozambique. Ooh. Mozambique's another tricky one because it's not just a blob. It's like a, a long fella. So that's going to add up over time, whereas France is quite blobby. I think I'm going to give it to Mozambique. Africa's just massive and Europe's only dinky. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> it's quite close, though. Okay, St. Kitts and Nevis. Uh, nah, Mozambique. Easy. All day long. Thank you very much. Get out of here. What's next? Turkey. Yeah, Turkey's fine. There we go. Don't even no, I was thinking about that one. We're doing well. We're gonna get to 20, I reckon. Vietnam and Turkey. Um, oh, it's another tricky one. There is a large map right there, but I am not looking at it this whole video. It's a Kai, make sure I don't cheat. If I cheat, you include it in the video. <laughs> God, I really want to look at it now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Vietnam. I'm scared though. Oh no! no! Oh, now Donald Trump's mocking me in the background. But we did score in the top 10%. We have a score to beat, and it is a respectable score nonetheless. Mauritania, Monaco, easy Mauritania. That's a big fella. Look at that, two kilometers, new smallest country. What beats Monaco? Is Monaco second smallest in the world? I think it is, with Vatican being in the number one spot. Yes, there we go. And then Nauru is third. I will always forget that. Okay, so far, we have not had any gigantic countries like Russia or USA or Canada, Dominican Republic. Oh, that's tricky. They both on a map, to me, feel quite similar, but I could be completely off there. I'm gonna go with it. Yes, just got them beat, not by too much. Okay, Botswana, that's an easier one. Botswana's quite a chunky fella, right in the middle of uh, lower Africa. Myanmar, I think Botswana. <gasps> Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you not know what a country is? Oh, no. I'm being mocked. I'm okay at geography as well. I have a geography channel with one and a half million subscribers, and I've got a four. This is the worst. Let's play again. <laughs> All right. Thailand, Papua New Guinea. Uh oh, nope. Never mind. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> There we go. We've got one of the biggest countries in the world. Australia. So that's an easy one. Seven million kilometers. And look at the stars, how they like kind of lined up. Sweden and Australia. Uh, definitely Australia. It'd be nice to see some more interesting flag combos once again. Okay, Uzbekistan and Sweden. I struggle picturing Uzbekistan because it's kind of mixed into all those other landlocked Central Asian countries. So I think I'm going to go with Sweden, but I might be about to lose. Oh my God. Goodness, that was close. Okay, Belarus. So Belarus in Europe looks quite large, but Belarus as a whole, I don't think it's anything crazy. I'm gonna go with Uzbekistan. Yes, that was the right decision. Good. Come on, we need to keep it up. Right, Belarus, uh, these little small Pacific Island countries. Get out of town. Don't have any time for them. Cameroon. Yeah, go on, Cameroon. Cape Verde, African island nation. Compared to mainland Africa, I think... 
think we'll say Cameroon safe. Yeah. yeah, that was a really easy one, actually, it turns out. Gambia. Oh, we are getting back-to-back -back African countries. The Gambia's tricky, because that's the one that follows the shape of a river, right? And it's just completely within Senegal. So that's not very large at all. But Cape Verde is so small, 4,000 kilometers squared, whereas rivers can go for miles and miles and miles. So let's go with it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. But as you can see, two quite small countries there. Burkina Faso. Why are we getting just African countries over and over? That's like five in a row, right? Burkina Faso is actually quite a chunky fella, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. For a very obscure country, it's quite large. Tuvalu, Pacific Island country. Get out of here, Tuvalu. 26 kilometers. I'll walk that now if you want me to. Nauru. Okay, so we did Google this about five minutes ago, and I know it is the third smallest country in the world. So Nauru v Tuvalu would have been quite tricky if if I hadn't just Googled the answer and kind of accidentally cheated. So, Naru, you win. The I've just clicked the wrong one by mistake. <laughs> That's what I get for cheating, even though I didn't even mean to cheat. Ethiopia versus Rwanda. Ethiopia, easy. This is going to be my speed run game. Look at that, over a million. Come on, Chile. Ooh, forget the speed run. That's tricky. Chile is famously the longest country in the world, but it's also very narrow, whereas Ethiopia is just quite a big chunk over on the Horn of Africa. I think Chile has got this beat, but uh, I could be totally wrong here. Let's see. Oh, I am. I'm totally wrong. That is just a score of one. No. Not ideal. <laughs> After that performance, I might need to hand in my Jack Sucks of Geography gold play button. I'm not sure I deserve that. Somalia and Tonga. Okay, Somalia, easy. Quite large Somalia. There we go. Next up is Thailand. Hmm. I'm going Thailand. I'm going Thailand. And I am just screwing it up. Could this be the worst day of my life? Oh, there we go. USA! USA! Famously one of the largest countries in the world. Is it... Third? I think it's third. I think it's Russia, Canada, USA. Yes, Russia, Canada, USA. It's always good to fact check before I just spew absolute rubbish to my audience. But USA, that is a very easy one. Look at that. Nearly 10 million kilometers squared. Okay, what is next? Netherlands, that's a freebie. Very nice. Thank you, USA. Okay, USA is getting out of here now. It's tricky again. Netherlands and Jamaica. Netherlands, pretty small. I'm going to go Jamaica. Oh my god, Jamaica's really small. I did not realize. Why do I always have a really nice run to begin with and then it's just non-stop just disaster after that oh look at that <laughs> i was about to point out that the tricolor flags lined up beautifully but for some reason they just vanished japan and belgium still look quite nice together japan obviously quite a bit bigger than belgium there we go europe is small there is a lot in europe for how small it is okay peru and japan hmm japan Oh my god, I kind of need to look at Peru on a map, I'm not going to lie. I'll look after the video, I don't want to cheat. Uganda, Lithuania, Uganda wins, easy, there it is, thank you very much. Next one, hurry up, uh, spin, yeah, spin, there we have it. Just don't overthink it, Jack, just click, go with your heart. Spin and Andorra, that's a very easy one. Actually, neighbor each other as well, which is nice. Slovakia, mm, yeah, Andorra's a dinky little fella. Oh my god, I got scared then. The zeros messed with my head. I thought something terrible had happened. Slovenia and Qatar. Ah, that's tricky because I know Qatar is really small, but maybe it's small for Asia and compared to Europe, it would actually be like a bit bigger. I'm going to go with Slovakia. Surely that's, yeah, it's teeny, it's tiny. Malaysia definitely wins that one. There we go. Malaysia is smaller than I would have expected there, though. I'm not going to lie. Right, there's a good streak of six. Mali is pretty massive. It's one of the biggest countries in Africa. There we go. Saudi Arabia is quite large. That's that's tricky. I reckon they're quite similar. Looking at them on a map, I think Mali might have the edge. But obviously, that's just the world map that's in my brain, which might be very different from reality. I'm going to go with Mali. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's twice the size. Okay, quick interval. There is Mali. Okay, pretty big country there. But let me drag over Saudi Arabia because, ah, oh, yeah, look at that. It's this bit over here. If Mauritania wasn't hogging all the room, we'd have been okay there. UAE and Georgia. That's a tricky start. I don't know. I I think they're probably quite similar. I'm going to go UAE, which is a bit crazy. <gasps> and it was the right move. As I said, very, very similar there. China, another massive big dog. I think that's fourth largest country, 9 million. Papua New Guinea is in the top 10, I think. But China still comfortably beats it. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Let me fact check that. I am wrong. It's the third largest island country, but it is not in the top 10 overall. So that is me spewing rubbish to my audience. Costa Rica, on the other hand, much smaller. Papua New Guinea is still pretty big. Okay, what's the next one? St. Vincent and the Grenadines of Costa Rica. It's so tricky when it's this kind of thing. I think I'm going to go Costa Rica. Yeah, that was fine. That was a safe bet. A lot bigger, it turns out. East Timor. That's not a big country, but 300 is very small. So I think I'm going to go for it. 
God. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Whenever it's a three-digit number compared with a five-digit one, for some reason, I think I've lost. I think I may need help. Love you, East Timor. Mm, love you. Yeah, love you. Go on. Very nice. Thank you. 64K. Come on, let's get to double figures. Germany, that's an easy one. Germany takes up a lot of room in Europe. Suriname? Uh, Germany's quite big. I'm going to go Germany. Let's go Germany. Yes, we were safe. We were safe. Okay, double figures. This is it. Lithuania. Suriname. Thank you. Yep, I can remember this one from previous rounds. Oh, Belgium. It's Battle of the Horizontal versus Vertical Tricolor Flags. Who will win, I think? I think it's <laughs> Lithuania, right? Yes. Belgium half the size, it turns out. Okay, then we have Greece v Belgium. Mm, Greece, I think. Added up all those little islands and bits and bobs, I think, will comfortably take over, and they do. Nice. Come on. 12. Let's beat 16. Let's do it. Chad. Easy. Chad is massive. There you go. 1.2 million. Thank you. Zambia. Uh, Chad. Got to be Chad, right? Yeah, Zambia, no little cookie though. Don't know what that means. USA, yep, that's an easy one. And then we should have a freebie because of that next, which is Romania. So back to USA. <gasps> we are on 16. So if I get this one, I beat my score. Romania, Dominican Republic. Romania, yeah? Yeah, easy, easy Romania, not even a competition. Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan's massive, there you go, 2.7 million. We've got a new high score, let's get to 20, Kazakhstan again. Just keep it going, this is fantastic. <laughs> Hungary, oh, considering how kind of narrow most of Norway is, it's a lot of kilometers squared. I think it wins. Does it win? Yeah, it wins easily. Look at that. Sorry, Hungary. Get out of here. Tunisia. Hmm, that's tricky. I think it's going to be like two thirds the size of Hungary. So let's see. I've completely screwed it up. I need to remember Africa is massive. That is what I want everyone to learn from this video. Africa's just way bigger than you think. I've scored 20, which means that I'm better than everyone. I'm in the top 1%. Share with your friends. You're my friends and I have shared this info with you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please subscribe and I'll see you later.